Good morning friends, my name is Amandeep Singh and today I will be giving a brief overview of process validation that is IQ, OQ and PQ. Before I begin, I would like you to subscribe to my channel, do comment and do let me know your views. So let's start. I will be covering about the introduction. What is process validation? Why we need to validate a process? installation qualification, operation qualification, and the performance qualification. Starting with the introduction part, any company within the food and drug industry has to maintain certain sets of standards of their product. So the food and drug administration aims to standardize the process in every manufacturing unit through process validation to ensure that every product that is produced comply with the prerequisite standards while maintaining the high quality. So if I go by the FDA definition of process validation, which states that it is the objective evidence that process consistently produces a result or a product that meet its predetermined specification. Let me give you a brief uh, detailed overview of this definition it's like the act of validating a process so we break it into definition definition into the component level say if i start with what is objective evidence it's it is simple it is a documented collection of facts data and the statistical analysis that serve as a basis for your conclusion that your process is operating in the validated state what is the meaning of consistently produces? This statement goes back to the idea of process capability and the process stability. If you can achieve process stability and the process capability both, then you are able to consistently produce good parts. And then what is the meaning of predetermined specification? It is basically usually your product specification or the process specification that if met results in the product that meets your customer need and the intended use. Also this process validation is a requirement as per ISO 13405 that you need to validate your product processes. So. Uh, it's like process validation is only required for processes with the result of the processes that is your product cannot be fully verified by subsequent inspections and test. You cannot reverse this statement or basically you can reverse this statement like if I fully verify my process output I do not need to validate my process. Why we need to validate a process? There are some regulations, guidelines for the medical devices that we need to validate a process. It comes from your 21 CFR 820 that is quality system regulations. Then we have the ISO 13485 regulations which talk about the requirement for to validate a process. And the risk management standard. What are the two reasons? Why we need to validate a process? First is basically to reduce the production cost of sorting and reworking. Because if we can reduce this cost, we are ultimately saving a lot of money here. And second is to meet the regulatory guidelines of regulatory bodies such as FDA. Then we have the different phases of validation. The first phase is the installation qualification. Second phase is the operation qualification. And the third phase is the performance qualification. So this is basically an overview of the flowchart of the IQ, OQ and PQ. What are the inputs that are required to start this process validation is it basically starts with your installation qualification to perform installation qualification you need the design requirement you need the process flowchart the defimica the the process fmem 
then you create a iq test protocols you will do perform this testing and then you create a report out of it and then comes your operation qualification in that we perform the design of experiments to optimize the processes again you write the oq protocols and then you perform the oq report and then we have the performance qualification i will go into more detail in the later slides so uh, this is my installation qualification it basically verifies that the equipment and its software have been delivered installed and configured in accordance with the manufacturer specification so what it checks is that it is a step by step process that involves verification of a set of standards required for a quality assurance of equipment it is normally carried out by a certified and a qualified engineer who comes to your facility to perform this installation qualification verification of installation qualification has to meet certain gmp requirements that is a good manufacturing practices and packing of instrument and cross checking its content with those on the packing list then we have certain uh, inputs outputs and what we do in the installation qualification like for the input section we have some design requirements like defimica and pifimica defimica is nothing but design failure mode effect analysis and pifimica is like process failure mode and effect analysis these are act as input and the output we get the proof iq report and in the iq protocols we what we check we make sure we check all the electrical connections of the equipment pneumatic connections are there if there are any water requirements we check the, all the health and safety conditions environmental conditions like temperature humidity location of equipment floor plan equipment and operating procedures calibrations preventive maintenance plan so all that stuff goes into your iq then comes the operation qualification once you have established the machine you have done the installation then next step is to uh, do the operation studies so oq basically demonstrate that the process produces confirming products throughout the range of different process inputs here what we do you vary your input parameters like temperature pressure settings all their settings to check out at what here what we are getting the best results the main purpose of oq is basically to verify the process is statistically capable of producing parts that meets the customer requirement even at the edge of the process so the input for this operation qualification is the approved iq run report and obviously your output will be the oq run report which will be performed here in the oq stage will be performing inspecting the process control limits like temperature pressure line speed speed setup conditions here we use the statistical tools like doe that is design of experiment to optimize the process we test the worst case parameters we look at the yield that is desired yield that is the first pass yield or the first time yield we look at the sampling plans and the installation testing that is required so the next section is like performance qualification the performance de qualification demonstrates the process consistently produces acceptable product under the normal operating condition so pq is basically the final step in the qualification process for equipments it is therefore demonstrated that the process is stable and the output from the lot to lot is consistent if we look at the ppk values which is greater than equal to 1.33 which is equivalent to four sigma level here here again we talk about the input output and the main processes that go through in pq so input would be your completed oq report output again would be the approved pq report capturing the result and the conclusion part and in pq what we do we verify the process capability output like cpk and cp we do the dimension verification like first article inspection layout inspection 
we perform the process stability studies like experiment R bar chart here. So that is all I have for this process validation. Please do comment, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching it. Bye.